everybody welcome to my channel my name is Darnell I'm with Shoemaker Art and today I want to paint on some light switch covers and some outlet covers I need um, one set for my bathroom and then the other I'm just gonna do some random colors so I've done these before and they look fantastic on the wall so I'll show you my process I know I'm going to do a chaos pour on these two um, I am not sure what I'm gonna do on these maybe just a ribbon pour um, these here are metal so what i did was i went ahead and sanded them a little bit because they had a really uh, glossy finish i want to make sure that paint sticks to it and then i just got some little tacky uh tack whatever it's called <laughs> and then um, i just attached the cup to it so um give me a little bit of a better surface to work with and then these i think i just taped yeah i just taped these so we are all set and I have found that it works better when you don't just put something up against it because it'll pool there. So this way it can run down into your cup and then you have a nicer finish. Okay, so I did take the screws out and a lot of times I will dip them down into the paint um, to match the color of whatever you end up with. All right, I'm gonna get some of this put away here and we'll get started. So my colors are Artist Loft Turquoise. And this is that Parage Posse Twilight Pearl. Gorgeous. Artist Lock White. And then I have some Cell Activator Black and White. I don't have very much black, so hopefully I shouldn't need a lot. My bathroom is gray and turquoise. So if this is more turquoise, I won't be mad at that. And I'm going to use my airbrush to blow it around. Okay, and then we're going to put a little black in here just so we get a little bit of gray up against that white in just a few places. Boy, that's really heavy. Ooh, that may not do nothing, but just... Nope. Oh, well. We'll see how that turns out. Okay, let's go. Oh, we got a dry spot here. Actually, let's do this. Should I put some gloves on? All right. Yeah, that looks cool. Actually, I am going to put some gloves on. Okay, so I want to wipe the bottom of the plate. that hole there. There we 
go. Use a toothpick for that. Want to dip the screws into what we have down below here. So let's move this out of the way for a second. And then what I'll do with this, yeah. So I just stuck it down in the styrofoam and it'll stay upright then and dry real good. All right, on for the next one. I love these. I'm going to set this over here to dry. Okay, so for this light switch cover, I am going to use some pinks and brown and a, and a coral. I'll show you my colors here in just a second. Putting a light coat of white down so my paint will flow. So I have Grumbucker Theo Violet. Proj Posse Bubblegum Shimmer, and added white to that. Dark Chocolate Shimmer, Decawart Coral Extreme Sheen, white. All right, so we're gonna do a puddle pour on here. All right, so I'm gonna set this over here. Yeah, I like the way that looks. It's beautiful. 
All right, let's do the little one. White on here. Looks good. So now I'm going to take my screws and I'm going to dunk them down into it. And then I'm going to stick them down into my styrofoam. So I'm taking my tweezers, I got a hold of my screw, and I'm going to stick it down into my styrofoam. And these are what I use to put my um, cabochons on when I'm making jewelry. So as always, I'll show you the dry results at the end. Oh, oh. So here is the first set that I painted that was for my bathroom. So that's the light switch cover to love it. And then there is the outlet cover. While I'm in here, I might as well show you a few things. We are working on updating this bathroom, so we got some things done. This came from my daughter. She used resin and um, put her flowers from her wedding in there. Wonderful way to preserve that. Very clever and a, and a beautiful gift. And this is the trim that I put up. I took the old down. I had my husband cut me some plain pieces of wood and I painted them gray. And then I used the dry brush method, blended them in. Really changes it in here. I took an old piece of trim and I sanded it down, primered it, and then took colored tissue paper and tore it into little pieces and then I used the decoupage method with Mod Podge and glued it on. And then I used little gems. It really does set this wall off. painting I did. <laughs> and there's my cat and he thinks that it's time to eat. Don't you? Are you starving? Bash. Hey, are you starving? What? Are you starving, buddy? We never feed you, do we? Huh? All right, and then I got a towel down because I resin in that room, so I got to keep the cat hair out of it. I will get back to what I was supposed to be doing. I'll show you the other set uh, that I painted.